What's up everybody, it's Toxic here with another Call of Duty Ghost video. Um, in this video, I'ma just talk about how I think you unlock the uniforms and the headgear. It might not all be right, but this is how I think how I think you do it, because this is how it's been working for me anyway. So, and then I'm also probably just talk about the guns I've been using, my classes, and my stats. So yeah. And I'm gonna do another video about my stats, like probably when I get to 10 prestige. And you will see a big difference in my stats once people start getting good at the game. So yeah. But um the first thing is the, the uniforms, the headgear. So when you come to uh your operations and then you go to like one of these, it shows that you unlock like this shows that you unlock a headgear and a patch all of them pretty much all the challenges you unlock a patch unless you already did it but then you got this one right here you unlock a different color race maybe a white uh you unlock another white guy another black guy a chinese guy something like that and then um this one i already did but it shows right here you unlock a uniform and another patch so like if if these challenges so say when I go to uh, my creative soldier, I go to the name, I go to customize, then I go to the uniform. Um, say like this one, get 100 kills with the Kimbo weapons. If this is not actually in the operations, then it will not unlock. Same with the headgear. Uh, which one that I can actually say? Kill. Uh, this is the, this is what this one is in my operations, but collect. Uh. 150 enemy dog tags and kill confirm if this if this isn't in my operations then it won't unlock but if it is and i complete it it will unlock so that's how i think you uh unlock the uniforms and the headgear because that's how i pretty much been doing it i unlocked uh, a couple of them not a lot of them yet but a couple of them and then like i said every challenge of one of the operations you unlock a new patch or something so yeah now to talk about my and the same way with the head also because wait which one yeah hijack uh 75 satcoms using a wiretap i use wiretap all the time but i still haven't gotten the uh different color race yet because it's not in my operations yet so yeah but um now for my classes well, with this guy anyway, I've just been using the AK-12. It's actually an extremely good gun. So, <laughs> yeah, I recommend using it. Well, pretty much all all the guns in this game are good. But it's just that you have low health, so mostly every gun kills fast. Same with the sniper rifles. But these are my other classes. This is my Russian class, the Vector. It's pretty much the only submachine gun that I actually have used. I haven't tried the other ones out yet. But then I've been using the Honey Badger. This isn't the right class because I've been using the sniper rifles, which let me go to them, which are pretty good. These two are the best, I think, out of the all four. And especially this one, because this one, this one I only used uh, the USR. It's, it's I I did not get a hit marker when I used that on Stonehaven, not one time when I had tried it out. So it's a pretty good sniper rifle, but then again like i said you have low health so a sniper rifle killing you i mean hitting you will pretty much automatically kill you and then i've used the um then i used the sc 2010 which is also a good gun i think it's kind of like the acr because it doesn't really have any recoil to it so yeah it's pretty good gun. The, this, the kill streaks is not my kill streak setup this was for uh, a uniform challenge so yeah um you also see i am prestige i'm getting close to hitting my second prestige and i think yeah with this guy the prestige symbol that you prestige with this guy it stays right there then my prestige with this guy the second prestige symbol will stay with him the third guy same thing all the way up and then you see how only you only unlock three squad points for six characters then once you get to the uh seventh one you need 200 squad points for it you need 300, you need 400, then the uh, last prestige, you need 500. Even though you can unlock all these characters now, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but 
for me that's no problem because as you saw I only had I had 600 uh, squad points because I hardly really purchased anything but yeah um now for my stats real quick these are my stats uh, KD's pretty high uh, <laughs> uh, 3.54 like I said uh, it's not a lot of good people playing the game right now like when people get good at the game that's when I'll, my KD pie will eventually go down. Also, I've mainly been playing Team Deathmatch. I have been playing, I have played uh, Crank, which you just saw in the, my last video. I've played T, I've played Search and Rescue. I've played uh, Kill Confirm. I haven't played Blitz yet, but I will check that out soon. Um, win loss ratio is actually an 8 point. It wasn't a level point, 11 point, but. One, but it's uh, a few games I play by myself <laughs> trying to get these uniforms uh, and then other games I was just in a party and we just lost <laughs> fair and square but mostly we win when I'm in a party so yeah but that's pretty much it so yeah like I said that's how I think I unlock you unlock the uniforms and the headgear and the different color race uh, men or women so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up i hope this helped you uh understand how you unlock uh uniforms headgear and different color races and i will we'll talk to you guys later peace